So I'm at the Hertz here, local Hertz here in Gastonia, North Carolina. This is all Franklin Boulevard. I uh, just want to bring you this quick video. I'm going to take you home, show you on the computer exactly what happened. Let's just say, definitely, definitely, at all costs, avoid this Hertz location. Called in the Hertz, I'm going to tell you something you did not know about what could possibly happen if you book your travel online regarding a car rental with Hertz. And then, of course, step into the local dealer to pick up your car. I'm going to tell you something they could do that you definitely would not like. And I spent 45 minutes here at this location for absolutely nothing. Left with nothing. Called online, discovered the tactic this gentleman was using. And I'm going to share it with you to make sure that this does not happen to you. Now, just to show you where this location is, this is on Franklin Boulevard here in Gastonia, North Carolina. So if you look over my right shoulder here, you can see McKinney Chevrolet in the background. You can see the boulevard riding deeper into Gastonia, downtown Gastonia. Of course, if you go the opposite way, you're going into Charlotte. But there again, this is the Hertz location. Just going to give you an overshot of where I am and exactly what it looks like. So perhaps you use this particular location. Uh, if you have, you probably left pissed off too and you didn't know what happened. But I'll share that with you. So definitely stay tuned. And hopefully this never happens to you when you go to rent a car, especially from this Hertz location. So I wanted to put a computer screen in the background to show you exactly what happened uh, the night prior to leaving to go on a brief vacation. I put in for a week's car rental. Uh, the week's car rental was supposed to go for, of course, exactly one week. But the night before, the day we were leaving, I put in and the local branch here in Gastonia, North Carolina had the car advertised for $336 for the whole week uh, and that's what taxes and everything included. Well, when I put the Hertz location, which is at the Charlotte Douglas International Airport in, uh, they had it for more. It was 500 and I want to say 60 something dollars for the whole week and um, that did not include taxes. With taxes and everything, I think it came up to like 603 or somewhat of that nature. Well. I did not book it that night. The next morning, I woke up, four or five o'clock in the morning, booked the rental. It was still advertised at the 330 something dollar price. So when I booked, uh, once I booked, reservation in place, I, pre I did not prepay, but I did the reservation uh, looking to pay once I arrived to the location. Uh, once I arrived at the location, walked in, ready to submit the reservation, take off in the vehicle, had plans to leave that morning, I could not. When I went up to uh, the register, mentioned the reservation, he pulled up everything, did everything in the computer, and then he said, let's run your card. Well, when he ran my card, it was funny because he wasn't using the Hertz monitor, he was using another monitor or card scanner when I scanned my card. Um, so he would tell me to use the one that was not the Hertz scanner for the credit card. So I'm scanning once, scanning twice, scanning three times, and he would say, the computer's not taking your card, something's wrong with your card. Well, I went back to the car, got a completely different card, came back, scanned once, scanned twice, scanned three times. My card still wouldn't work. So I stepped back out and got a totally different card. Scanned once, scanned twice, four cards later, scanning each card three times, I noticed that he, we were using the same scanner, which was the one not marked as Hertz. Well, after I ran two cards and I went back out to the car to get the third and the fourth card, I noticed he let a lady check in for her reservation and she used the Hertz scan. Well, he kept running mine through, it was a black scanner, didn't have a name on it or whatsoever, card reader that I was you know, scanning my card through. And he kept saying that wouldn't take the card, wouldn't take the card, wouldn't take the card. I even took time to call my credit card company who said there was no issue with my card whatsoever. Uh, came back in, had them on the phone, and he said it still wouldn't take, still wouldn't take, still wouldn't take. Uh, the credit card company said they saw something come in, but at the same time, um, the authorization came through for them to authorize it. It was deleted. So here I am. Four cards later, can't take the car because they can't take my payment. So I'm leaving disgusted, like, I can't believe the cards are doing this. And we're totally walking out. I can't leave on my trip. Nothing can be done. And 
upset it. Well, I call Hertz once to tell them of the situation. They tuck the complaint. That's it. Call Hertz a second time. And the young lady shared a little bit more information with me. And doing a little research online, here's what I dis discovered. So when you come here and you're looking on the site. So right now, this is not that day. This is not the information that I pulled up that night when I tried to do that rental. But if you can see here, I'm going to take you and you're going to zoom up, zoom in briefly. So if we come all the way in, you may be able to see the price that's under this. So this is a Chevy Equinox. And for one week, it's 307.76. Now, if I take you over to the Hertz site for the Charlotte Douglas International Airport, it is Chevy Equinox, same thing, five passenger, midsize SUV. 354.24. Now, not that big of a discrepancy, but I want to show you if I go here, um, the weekly rental, everything included, taxes, the whole nine yards, is 368.77. Now, I'm going to take you back to the Hertz at the Charlotte International Airport, 505.14. That's with everything included, taxes, the whole nine yards. So the 505.14. 14 you see here when you go to the location which is here in Gastonia North Carolina any of your local branches with Hertz they don't have to honor that and I was told and I discovered there's a big discrepancy between the local branches and also the corporation Hertz on what the local branches will and will not honor. Now I say local branches, but it's all of them. So it could be any Hertz destination. When you go on and you book your reservation, they show you that price. They do not have to give you that price. Now, when I walked into the location, I would much prefer to, for him to say, you know, look, the price that's disclosed online, I can't honor that price. Now I still would have had an issue, but that's much respect from presenting or giving me the solution or giving me the correct information or handling the information up front and being honest about it rather than the way he did. The way he did it, he was basically scanning our cards through a scanner. He knew that it would not read the credit card. He knew it wouldn't read the credit card. So therefore, rather than telling us, hey, I'm not gonna honor that price. This is what happened. Explaining the situation, explaining that, hey, Hertz will advertise prices. We don't, we have the grounds on not to honor them or whatsoever. He could have easily have been upfront and honest and said that. He didn't. He kept running our card through the card scanner that he knew would not, it, it would not take our card. It would not read our card. It would not withdraw the funds in order for me to solidify the reservation. So very misleading. I look at it as being very unethical. Um, I, I did post some stuff, Twitter. You should definitely check out the Twitter account. So I went to Twitter and I expressed my displeasure with the way that things happen. And I listed thing as, things as uh, disgusting, unethical, um, unheard of, um, falsification. I mean, the whole nine yards, I listed everything that I thought that it was because at that moment, that's exactly what it was. So they did get back with me and uh, basically, hey, I'm sorry, uh, didn't agree or didn't uh, basically say anything because I had already discovered from a Hertz representative and by going online exactly the fact that they don't have to honor that price that's online. So once I got in contact through DM on Twitter with a Hertz representative, they did not solidify any of that. They did not fess up to any of that as far as being true. They basically just said, let us know when the next time you're going to do your car rental was the solution that I received from the Hertz professional that was online or handling their, handling their Twitter account. But I just want to show you this. So the next time you do anything, and I'm not going to say it's with any of the other car rental agencies. I'm not even going to call their name because they may not do this. But Hertz does. So anything you see online, when you go through to do your reservation, that's not in stone at all. When you go to the location to pick up your rental car, they do have the right or they can say, I'm not going to honor that price. 
of 307 and 368 for one week. When looking at what the Charlotte Douglas International Airport or all the other Hertz reservation areas, no one was doing the price that they're doing. So if you're looking at a car rental for a week starting on Tuesday, you may be looking at this and saying 368, man, that's a deal compared to everything else I found. But keep in mind, they don't have to do this. So you going online with Hertz and selecting your vehicle and making a reservation mean, means absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. You still could leave without a car. Now, I will say this, the gentleman that's helping you when you go in to do that reservation or when you're having that problem at that location, hopefully they will be honest with you and simply say, I can't honor the reservation price that you've been given. Rather than sitting there trying to scan my card, one card after another, after another, after another, and he's telling me not that the card was declined, but that they were having a problem with the card. Now, and I had just used Gastonia location, Gastonia, North Carolina, Wilkinson Boulevard, I had just used them prior for a four-day reservation on a rental car a week, week and a half earlier. So this was not my first time dealing with these people, but yet to be treated like that, which is the reason why I'm bringing you this information now. So if you're doing anything with Hertz, what you see may not be the situation of what the conclusion of going in and doing a full reservation for your vehicle for that week, for a day or whatsoever, you still have to hope that they will honor that price when you step into that location. Now, all the other locations, I don't know. I've never did a rental with them. I basically go exclusively through the Charlotte Douglas, Douglas International Her Airport uh, Hertz Reservation Center. Uh, I tried the one here in Gastonia, Hertz Reservations, Wilkinson Boulevard. I'm going to continue to call their name uh, simply because I don't want you to go there. I don't want you to go there. And you shouldn't go there because you may be put into the same situation I am. But at the same time, they should really hurt to shut the place down. From the way that I was treated and him continuing to do or mislead me as a consumer when I'm going from the information that I'm thinking has been cemented with his company and the deception that he pulled, they should shut that facility down. They should shut that facility down. They should open up another one, different ownership or whatever, different location if they want to do it somewhere else in Gaston County, but that location they should shut down. And I am going to share their exact information. So as you can see here, and Let's see. So I'm going to go back. They're in the 28056 zip code. Their address is 4312. I take it at Suite D, Wilkeson Boulevard, Gastonia, North Carolina, 28056. If you're looking for, at renting a rental car from these people, go somewhere else immediately. There's an enterprise right down the street. There's another car eight or a rental agency right down the street as well. I have no idea what their name is, but the type of deception these people are pulling at this 4312 Suite D Wilkinson Boulevard location, definitely go somewhere else. Take your business out elsewhere. Do not send your family and friends to this location. Continue to tune in because I will continue to bring you different videos such as this to help you in the future, whether you're doing business or you're trying to learn something or you're turning to a business or company for further knowledge, I will definitely keep you informed on who to go with, who not to go with, and some of my preferences.